The book of Leviticus is the third book of the Hebrew Bible and the Old Testament, following Genesis and Exodus. It is a central text in Judaism and an important part of the Christian Bible. Leviticus is primarily concerned with religious rituals, laws, and regulations that govern the lives of the Israelites, particularly in their religious and moral conduct. It is named after the tribe of Levi, which was designated as the priestly tribe responsible for performing these rituals and maintaining the sanctity of the tabernacle, a portable place of worship. Leviticus consists of 27 chapters and can be divided into several key sections, each addressing different aspects of religious and moral life. In this essay, we will explore the major themes and content of Leviticus within the confines words. 1. The Holiness Code, Leviticus 17 to 26, a significant portion of Leviticus is dedicated to what is often referred to as the Holiness Code. This section outlines specific laws and regulations that govern the behavior of the Israelites in their pursuit of holiness and righteousness. The underlying principle is the call for the Israelites to be holy as the Lord is holy, Leviticus 19 verse 2. This section covers various aspects of life, including dietary laws, example, prohibitions against eating blood, sexual ethics, example, prohibitions against incest and homosexuality, and guidelines for social justice, example, care for the poor and the stranger. 2. Sacrificial System Leviticus 1-7 Leviticus describes in great detail the sacrificial system practiced by the Israelites. These offerings, including burnt offerings, grain offerings, peace offerings, sin offerings, and guilt offerings, were central to their worship and the means by which they sought atonement for sins and reconciliation with God. Each type of offering had specific procedures, and the priests played a crucial role in conducting these rituals. 3. The Day of Atonement, Leviticus 16 Leviticus 16 provides instructions for the Day of Atonement, a critical event in the religious calendar of ancient Israel. On this day, the high priest would enter the Holy of Holies in the tabernacle, or later, the temple in Jerusalem, to make atonement for the sins of the people. This involved offering sacrifices, including the scapegoat, which symbolically carried away the sins of the community. The Day of Atonement was a solemn occasion for seeking God's forgiveness and purification. 4. Dietary Laws Leviticus 11 Leviticus 11 contains detailed guidelines on what animals are considered clean or unclean for consumption. The distinction between clean and unclean animals had both practical and symbolic significance. It served to maintain the physical health of the Israelites by prohibiting the consumption of animals prone to disease, and it also emphasized the importance of ritual purity. 5. Rules for Priests Leviticus 8-10, 21 22 The book provides instructions for the consecration of priests, particularly the high priest. It emphasizes the need for the priests to maintain a high standard of holiness and purity in their service. Leviticus also outlines specific rules regarding priests' marriages, physical blemishes, and restrictions on their contact with the dead. 6. Laws regarding skin diseases. Leviticus 13-14 Leviticus contains detailed regulations for identifying and dealing with skin diseases, particularly leprosy. These rules were not only concerned with physical health, but also had religious and social implications. The process for declaring a person clean or unclean and the rituals involved were essential for restoring individuals to the community after being afflicted with a skin disease. 7. Moral and Ethical Commandments Leviticus 19-20 Leviticus 19 contains a collection of moral and ethical commandments, often referred to as the Holiness Code. These commandments cover a wide range of topics, including honoring parents, loving neighbors, seeking justice, and avoiding various immoral behaviors. Leviticus 20 outlines penalties for specific sins, including adultery, incest, and idolatry. 8. Sabbatical and Jubilee Years Leviticus 25 Leviticus 25 introduces the concept of sabbatical and jubilee years. The sabbatical year occurred every seven years, during which the land was to rest, debts were to be forgiven, and slaves were to be released. 
the Jubilee year, which occurred every 50 years, had similar provisions and aimed at restoring economic and social balance within the community. 9. Blessings and Curses Leviticus 26 Leviticus 26 outlines the blessings that the Israelites would receive for obeying God's commandments and the curses they would face for disobedience. This chapter serves as a covenantal reminder of the consequences of their actions, emphasizing the importance of obedience to God's laws. In conclusion, the book of Leviticus is a foundational text in the Abrahamic religious traditions, providing a comprehensive guide to religion.